Malalaman ninyo ang katotohanan, ang katotohanan ang magpapalaya sa inyo. I am not the healer. Jesus Christ living in me is the healer. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Kung hindi siya magdududa sa kanyang puso, sa halip, bagkos, mananampalataya siya ng sinasabi ng kanyang bibig ay mangyayari. In living in the last days, you have to ensure your eternity. Prepare for eternity. If we only know and understand the attributes of God are embedded or invested in the name of God. Yung pinag-aralan nating awesome name of Jesus for salvation, for healings, for deliverance, for answered prayer, hindi mag-ooperate yan if in our mind and in our heart hindi na-establish yung faith natin sa deity or divinity ni Jesus. Ang katuroan ko po na nilagay ng Diyos sa puso ko ay ishare sa mga tao ang most powerful weapon na pwedeng gamitin ng mga anak ng Diyos in this troubled world. Ito po'y walang iba kung hindi ang wonderful name of Jesus. Wonderful name of Jesus. Naalala kong bigla yung, uh, yung makipag-duel si King David. Naalala niyo ba si King David? Inutusan ng kanyang ama. Bigyan mo ng pagkain yung mga kapatid mong miyembro ng military army, ng Israel's army, doon sa gyera. Yung kuya mo, di ko mo, sang ko mo, bigyan mo ng pagkain. Pati yung kanilang mga commander. At pagkatapos ay umuwi ka na. Alagaan mi yung ating mga uh, yung ating mga tupa sa kabukirin, kabukiran. E di si David ho sumunod. Makikita natin yon. Nang makita ho ni David na pagkatapos niya magbigay ng pagkain sa kanyang tatlong kapatid, narinig niya si Goliat. Hinahamo ng buong army ng Israel. Iniinsulto ang buong army ng Israel hanggang sa ininsulto ang buong bansa ng Israel. Hanggang ininsulto na ang Diyos ng Israel. Sabi ni David, siya po'y uh, nagpapastol lang, kabataan pa lang. Sabi niya, labanan ninyo, yung gulayat na yan, the uncircumcised Philistine. Ang sabi niya doon sa, I think, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 17, eh, sabi nung, nung mga, yung mga colonel, mga general, pati si Haring Saul, nanginginig sa takot. Mga veterano sa gyera, nanginginig sa takot kay Gulaya. Nagalit yung kanyang mga kapatid sa kanya. Yabang-yabang mo naman. Inutusan ka lang ng tatay na mag, magdala ng pagkain. Umuwi ka na. Walang mag-aalaga sa ating mga tupa. Pinagalitan pa si David. Ano ang sabi ni David doon sa uh, 1 Samuel? Chapter 17, verse 29. Yes, 1 Samuel chapter 17. Anong sabi ni David nung siya pagalitan ng kanyang mga kapatid? What have I done? Is there not a cause? Para praising, if you are afraid to fight him, I will fight him. Kaya na in love ang Diyos kay David eh. Sa Acts 13, verse 22, ang sabi ng Bible, God found David, a son of Jesse, as a man, whose heart is after the heart of God. What do you mean by a heart that is after the heart of God? Sumagod na rin ang Diyos. Ando lang sagot eh. David was willing to do everything I wanted him to do. Kaya nainlab ang Diyos kay David. The rest is history. Hindi ba? Nilabanan ni David, si Goliath. Ano ang sabi sa 1 Samuel 17, verse 45? Ano ang sabi? Everybody read? Nung no, magbabakbakbaka na sila ni David? Then David said to the Philistine, Everybody read? You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. At pagkatapos makikita niya, pinawalan ni David yung smooth stone. Dire-direcho sa, sa pagitan ng mata 
sa noo pagitan ng mata ni 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 Goliath. And the smooth stone sunk into the forehead of Goliath and Goliath fell. Ang ginawa ni David, kinuha yung espada niya at pinuto lang ulo ni ni Goliath. Nang hawak ni David ang ulo ni Goliath, yung army ng Philistine nagtakbuhan na karipas sa takbo. And you know what happened? David eventually became the king. And in the history of Israel, David became the greatest king in Israel. Why? Because he developed a heart that is after the heart of God. Palakpangan natin ang Panginoon. Amen, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord of hosts, meaning to say, in the name of the Almighty God of Israel, I come to you. Pinawalan niya yung smooth stone. At yun ang pumatay kay, kay Goliath. What I'm saying here, beloved, the name of the Lord is so powerful. If we only know and understand the attributes of God are embedded or invested in the name of God. Kaya naalala ko yung Proverbs 18.10. Everybody read, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Ngayon ho, gusto kong ishare sa inyo ang apat na bagay. What is in the name of Jesus? God, what are the attributes of God embedded or invested in the name of Jesus? Number one, I would like to share with you. Number one, God's power for salvation. Everybody say, God's power for salvation is invested in the name of Jesus. Dito po sa Matthew chapter 1, verse Verse 18 to 21, tungkol to sa birth ni Jesus. Everybody read. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take you Mary, to take to you Mary, your wife, for that, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. Yung sanggol na sa sinapupunan ni Maria ay hindi gawa ng lalaki. Iti gawa ng kapangyarihan ng Holy Spirit. Verse 21, and she will bring forth a son, capital S, emphasizing the deity of this son, deity of divinity. And you shall call his name Jesus. Why? For he will save his people from their sins. This is the first revelation in the Bible that the name Jesus carries the power of God to save. The power of God for salvation. For He will save His people from their sins. Palapakan nga na sindali ang Panginoon. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. <clears throat> Tingnan ninyo ang Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Everybody read. Ang nagsasalita rito, of course, ang Holy Spirit through Saint Peter or Apostle Peter. Nor is there salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. So Acts chapter 4 verse 10, everybody read. Let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stand here before you hold, before you Whole. Kasi pinagaling ni, ng Diyos yung lumpo sa Acts chapter 3 in the name of Jesus. At sinabi sa Acts chapter 4 verse 12, 
walang ibang pangalang ibinigay sa silong ng langit na sukalik ikaligtas ng tao. Romans chapter 10 verse 13. Everybody read. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Sipi nyo, nung hagisan kami ng Granada, ang binanggit ko lang, Jesus. At kinover ko ang aking katawan kay Johnny. Of course, uh, kung hindi sa Diyos, sa pangalan ni Jesus, patay na ako, patay siya. <laughs> that was June 17, 1983. Palapangan natin sandali ang Panginoon. Amen, Lord. Pangalawa, God's power for healings is invested in the name of Jesus. Mark 16, Mark 16, verse 15 up to verse 18. Ito yung great commission ng Panginoon, di ba? Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be condemned. And these signs, sabi sa Mark 16, verse 17, and these signs will follow those who believe. Everybody read. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. 18. They will take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick. And they will recover. Jesus said, in my name, those who believe in me, they can cast out devils and they, can, they shall lay their hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. It means one thing, those who believe, those who believe, every believer is an ambassador of Jesus Christ. Once we operate by faith on the prescription of Jesus, you can lay your hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Your hands will be the extension of God's hands. Tingnan yung James chapter 5. Yes. Verse 14, verse 15. James chapter 5, verse 14. Everybody read. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name, in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Anong sabi? Verse 15. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. And the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. This is the commandment of God to every church of God to anoint the sick with oil in the name of the Lord. Isa pang malakas na palakpak sa ating Diyos. Amen, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ang isang very clear ng kapangyarihan ng pangalan ni Jesus sa pagpapagaling, Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Doon sa Acts chapter 3, verse 6. Pero bakit tayo magtungo sa verse 6? Basahin nga natin yung Acts chapter uh, 3, verse 1. Verse 1 to 8. Everybody, Acts chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. Everybody read. That now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms from those who entered the temple. Nagpapalimus yung crippled man. Verse 3, Who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked for alms. The, the crippled man was begging, begging for money or whatever. And verse 4, And fixing his eyes on him with John, Peter said, Look, look at us. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have, I give you. Meaning to say, I do not have money to give you. Silver and gold I do not have. But I have something better than money. I have something better than what you're asking from me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Acts 3. 
66, verse 7. And he took him by the right hand and lifted, lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Verse 8. So he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. Palapangan natin ang Panginoon. Amen. Hallelujah. Pag binasa ninyo ang Acts chapter 3, nagkaroon ng commotion. Nagkaroon ng uh, kaguluhan sa buong uh, lugar na yon ng Jerusalem. Sapagkat napabalita yung lumpo. Mula pa sa tiyan ng kanyang ina, nagpapalimus na yung panganak. Nung lumaki na, nagpapalimus, lumpo pa rin. Biglang nakalakad. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, Peter and John healed him, delivered him from the curse of sickness and disease, from the curse of of, of, of the bandage of, of probably uh, paralysis or curse of the law. Palapakan natin sa dalang Panginoon. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, in other words, God's power for healings is invested in the name of Jesus. Pangatlo, God's power for deliverance or through casting out demons is invested in the name of Jesus. Balikan natin yung Great Commission, Mark 16, verse 17. Anong sabi ni Lord Don sa verse 17? These signs will follow those who believe. Listen carefully, please. This is in, in, K, in New King James Version Bible. In NIV version, these signs will accompany, accompany, accompany those who believe. If you are a believer of Jesus Christ, genuine believer of Jesus Christ, signs of wonders and power and authority will accompany you. Those who believe in my name, Jesus said, in my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will drive out demons. They will speak with new tongues. We have the power, God's power, in, entrusted to us to cast out demons in the name of Jesus. Kaya ang dami sa Bible, mga nasa bandage ng demon possession, demon of, of depression, discouragement, demons of sicknesses and diseases, dem all kinds of demons. They were delivered when the believer of Jesus Christ cast out demon spirits in the name. In the name that is above every name. In the name of Jesus. Amen? Palapakan natin ng Panginoon. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Tingnan ninyo Luke chapter 10 verse 17. Luke chapter 10 verse 17. Ito tungkol to sa 72 disciples. 70 disciples. Or 72. Sabi ni Jesus, the second batch of disciples, go. Two by two kayo. You share the gospel of Jesus. You share the gospel of the kingdom. Preach the gospel. Heal the sick, etc., etc. Makikita niyo sa Luke chapter 10. Tingnan muna yung Luke chapter 10 verse 1. Siguro yung Luke chapter 10 verse 1 para yung context ay maliwanag. Luke chapter 10 verse 1. Everybody read. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them two by two ahead of Him to every town and place where He was about to go. Itong 72 disciples, itong second batch of disciples ni Jesus, nauna yung 12. Yung 12. Pagkatapos yung 12, meron 72. Pagkatapos sa 72, meron 500 disciples si Jesus nung siya mabuhin na maguli. Nagpakita siya sa 500 disciples before He went back to heaven. Tandaan niyo yan. Kasi basic yan. Ano? Dahil si St. Paul hindi kasama sa first disciples. Hindi siya kasama sa second disciples. Hindi siya kasama sa 500 disciples. Nang maborn again si St. Paul, matagal na si Jesus bumalik sa langit. Hindi yung, mga, yung 72 disciples, bumalik ngayon kay Jesus. Bumalik sa Luke chapter 10 verse 17. Anong sabi sa Luke chapter 10 verse 17? Everybody read. The 72 re returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. Lord, even the demons obeyed our commands in your name. Wow. 
What a revelation truth. Palapangan natin ang Panginoon. Amen, Lord. Hallelujah. Pero, gusto kong uh, tap, uh, ituloy yung sinabi sa verse 19. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Anong sabi ni Jesus? I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions, meaning to say the works and the wiles of the devil, and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Kapag tayo believer ni Jesus, tumatanggap tayo ng power of attorney, delegated power, authority ng Diyos na binigay kay Jesus, Matthew 28 verse 18, Jesus said, All power in heaven and in earth and under earth is given to me. Kaya, napa, maliwanag ho in the name of Jesus. Palakpan mo na sa ang Panginoon. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Last, last example, last biblical example, Acts chapter 16, verse 18. Dito sa Acts chapter 16, merong isang babaeng, merong spirit of divination. Divination. Uh, siguro, basahin natin yan yung 17. This girl followed Paul and rest of us shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be saved. Listen carefully, please. May lesson dito, ha? Huh? Itong babaeng na ito ay demon-possessed. Pero ang sinasabi niya, totoo. These men, referring to Paul and others, are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be saved. Totoo yung sinasabi niya. Pero demon-possessed siya. Meron siyang spirit of divination. Basahin niyo ang verse 18. Verse 18. She kept this up for many days. Finally, Paul became so troubled that he turned around and said to the Spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out, come out of her. At that moment, the Spirit left her. In the name of Jesus, we can cast out demon spirits. Kung meron sa pamilya ninyo na na-oppress, discourage o nakikita ninyo na abnormal na ang mind, depressed, hopeless. Alam nyo, Diablo kasi talagang uh, he came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Sabi ni Jesus sa John 10.10, 10, you can exercise your authority. You have the authority in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, a spirit of depression, discouragement, a spirit of hopelessness, a spirit of laziness, kung yung asawa niya tatamad-tamad, a spirit of laziness, or a spirit of gambling, a spirit of covetousness, a spirit of selfishness, may mga pamilya sinisira ng kasakiman, a spirit of covetousness and greed, I rebuke you, get out of this family, get out, go and flee. Kung kayo ay living uprightly with God, the, the the power of God will operate and you will, God will implement the authority, the delegated power entrusted to every believer of Jesus Christ. In His name. Amen? Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah! Last but not least, God's power to answer man's prayers is invested in the name of of Jesus. Tingnan ninyo ang John 16, verse 23 and verse 24. Meron ba kayong dasal o pananalangin? Nasa, hindi sinasagot ng Diyos? Hanggang ngayon? Hindi sinasagot ng Diyos? Kasi maraming Kristiyano, makinig lang po kayo sandali, ito ang nireveal ng Lord sa aking prayer. Maraming Kristiyano, dasal ng dasal sa Diyos. Pagkatapos, Lord, bless my wife, bless my husband, bless my children. Lord, bless our business, bless our finances. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and good night. Ugali na lang gamitin yung pangalan ni Jesus. Pero hindi na intindihan ang ingredients, hindi na intindihan what is it in the name that is above every name. What are the attributes of God embedded invested in the name of Jesus. Kaya marami na ginagamit yung pangalan ni Jesus as a ritual. Ritualistic prayer. Pero alam nyo, if we understand the biblical revelation truth, mag-ooperate ang awesome power of God. 
awesome power of God if we acknowledge the awesome, powerful, wonderful name of Jesus. Amen? Palapakan natin sandali ang Panginoon. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Now, tingnan ninyo on John chapter 16, verse 23 and verse 24. In that day, you will no longer ask me anything. I tell you the truth. My Father will give you, will, not, not may, will give you whatever you ask in, in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Beloved, there is only one name in the entire Bible. There is only one name in heaven and here on earth that God the Father is absolutely committed to answer the prayers of God's people when the name of Jesus, the precious, holy, matchless, mighty, marvelous, wonderful name of Jesus is being used by people who have the right heart. Ngayon, tingnan ninyo John 14 verse 14. Simula natin ang verse 13 para complete ang context. Verse 13, everybody read. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. Jesus is the one speaking here, huh? the King of kings and Lord of lords. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. Verse 14, you may ask me for anything, anything in my name. Ano sabi ni Jesus? I may do it? No. Ano sabi niya? I shall do it? No. The strongest word. I will. I will do it. Wow. Who can stop the begotten Son of God who is the co-creator of God the Father and God the Holy Spirit of the heavens and the earth? Nobody can stop. Kaya kailangan lang alam natin hindi lang sa isip alam natin sa puso there are two kinds of knowledge, mental knowledge and heart knowledge. One of these days, I will, teach, I will share to you this teaching. Kahit punong-puno ang isip mo ng kaalaman, pero pag wala kang heart knowledge, bali walang lahat. Maraming tao, kabisado ang Biblia, pero walang heart knowledge, mental knowledge. It is empty and it cannot move the heart of God because it is impossible to please God without faith. Hebrews 11 verse 6. And faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Palapakan lang ang sandali Panginoon. Yes, Lord, all the glory be unto you. Sabi ni Dr. Hagen, For you to understand, I will make an illustration. When a child of God used John 14, verse 14, in petitioning God the Father as his own Father, and God the Father in heaven will order his angels, angels, you search, the warehouses of heaven and look for the petition of my child. I cannot say no to this petition. Look and search the warehouses of heaven. Pagdating ng mga angels, sabi ni Dr. Higgin, and they will say, Lord, boss, we cannot find the, the object of the petition of your child in earth. You cannot find? Yes, Lord. We already searched all warehouses in heaven and there is no such thing. Okay, no problem. Let's create one. Let's create one so that I can satisfy the legitimate demand of my genuine child piled to me. Ito ay hindi ordinary prayer. Meron tayong right as legal heirs, legal heirs of God, joint heirs with Jesus Christ. If you study the book of Ephesians, we are sitting together with Jesus over and above the dominion and principalities and wickedness in the spirit world. Now, we, we, we as genuine children of God, pwede tayong magpetition. Kaya, napakasarap nga itong mga malalalim na revelation truth. Pero may warning. Hindi lahat ng tao, kahit kristyano, 
pwedeng gamitin ang pangalan ni Jesus. Itong warning nito ay hindi ko dapat makalimutan. Kaya sinulat ko sa, sa aking notes yung warning. Ano yung warning nito? Mababasa natin ito sa Acts chapter 19, verse 13 up to verse 17. Some Jews who went around driving out evil spirits tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who were demon-possessed. They would say, In the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, I command, I command you to come out. Sabi ng mga Jews, yan ang tawag dito sa pag, mga bagabon Diyos to, sons of Siba, sabi sa ibang translation. Ginaya nila ang ginagawa ni Paul. Merong demon possessed doon, ay nag-exercise sila in the name of Jesus na ginagamit ni Pablo. Lumayas kayo, mga demonyo. Ano, ano, ano mababasa natin dito? 14. Seven sons of Zibang, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this, were doing this. Oh, religi- religious leaders. Mga religious leaders. Alam nyo, hindi ko mo religious. Eh, tama. Eh, ito, seven sons of Siba, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this. Verse 15. One day the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know. And I know about Paul. But who are you? Kilala, ko si, kilala namin si Jesus, sabi ng demon spirit. Kilala namin si Jesus. Kilala namin si Pablo. Eh, sino ka magpapalaya sa amin? Who are you? Verse 15. Verse 16. Then the man who had the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered them all. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house naked and bleeding. Verse 17. When this became known to the Jews and Greeks living in Ephesus, they were all seized with fear. And the name of the Lord Jesus was held in high honor. Anong lesson dito? Not everybody can use the name of Jesus. Bago nyo gamitin ang pangalan ni Jesus, siguraduhin ninyo ang puso natin ay hinugasan ng dugo ni Jesus, sanctified, at wala tayong kalakuhan sa buhay. Hindi tayo mukhang makajos pero ang ginagawa natin ay puro kalakuhan. <laughs> Nobody can manipulate God. There is a time that we will be exposed. There is a time that God will execute judgment against us. Kaya sabi nga ng Diyos, isa sa mga utos ng Diyos, diba? Ten Commandments, do not use the name of God in vain. Do not use the name of God in vain. Palapakan mo ng sandali ang Panginoon. Amen, Lord. Amen, Lord. Tingnan na natin, baka makalimutan ko pa, yung Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, up to verse 11. Tungkol to sa name ni Jesus. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Everybody read. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus. Verse 6. Who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, verse 7, verse 7, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, verse 8, being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Verse 9, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. Listen carefully, please. One more time. And gave him the name that is above every name. Listen carefully, please. The name of Jesus, the sweetest name, the wonderful, powerful name of Jesus is the name that is above every name. Verse 10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven, in earth, and under the earth, in three worlds, heaven, earth, and hell, under the earth. Verse 11, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Palapangan natin sandali ang Panginoon. 
kung tayo, kung na-develop sa atin, uh, tayo naging people of faith, any work of the devil we can bind. Sabi ni Jesus uh, sa Matthew 16, the gates of hell cannot prevail against my church. I have given my people, my church, all the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. That is authority, delegated power. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Meron kang sakit? Meron kang problema sa pamilya, sa asawa, sa magulang, sa kapatid, sa anak? May problema ka sa finances, sa trabaho, sa negosyo, sa profession mo? Ginagawa mong lahat? Pero bakit pag nagtatrabaho ka, yung gabi ginagawa mong araw, after few years, nakalubog ka pa rin sa utang? There is a curse. There is a binding spirit in your finances. You have to, you have to uh, diagnose, like a doctor, you have to, uh, to diagnose the sickness. Where is, what is the origin of sickness? What is the cause of the pain or sickness or disease? You have to diagnose spiritually spiritually and then if you are right with God you can use the name of Jesus Satan I bind you in the name of Jesus I bind you Satan by the blood of Jesus I rebuke you Satan get out get out of my family get out of my of the relationship of my children nagiinggitan nagdadamutan ang aking mga anak I rebuke you Satan take up your hands over my family over my children Get out in Jesus' name. I bind you by the blood of Jesus. Bow down in the name of Jesus. Spirit of envy, jealousy, selfishness, greed, covetousness, spirit of depression, bankruptcy, financial bankruptcy, you are a name. Bow down at the name of Jesus. I command you, bow down at the name of Jesus. And I rebuke you, get out in Jesus' name. I lose the benefits of Calvary. I lose salvation, healings, deliverance. I lose financial prosperity. I lose financial freedom. I lose. Satan, I bind you. I command you to take up your hands over God's finances because God's finances is being delivered to me by my God. I am a child of God. Alam nyo, kailangan nating mag-aral ng spiritual warfare. Hindi po pwedeng tayo eh, lulugo-lugo, at, ini, at tayo ay depressed, at gumagawa si satanas ng puro kalakohan niya, tinatanggap natin, satanas, maawa ka na sa akin. Hindi maawa si satanas. Ang kailangan kay satanas, kick him out! Si satanas ay, ay napakasama. Biyan repair na si satanas. Siyang may hawak, pinipilit niyang to destroy the people of God. John chapter 10 verse 10, napakalaki, napakagandang revelation. The thief referring to Satan, comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Have it to the full. Praise God. The awesome, powerful, marvelous, wonderful name of Jesus is nothing, nothing, if it is not backed up, if it is not backed up, by the deity, by the deity of Jesus Christ. It is not. The, yung pinag-aralan nating awesome name of Jesus for salvation, for healings, for deliverance, for answered prayer, hindi mag operate yan if in our mind and in our heart hindi na-establish yung faith natin sa deity or divinity ni Jesus. 1 John chapter 5, verse 7 in the King James Version Bible. There are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. In John chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John chapter 1, verse 3. John chapter 1, verse 3. Through Him, all things were made, and without Him, nothing was made that has been made. Meaning to say, this Word who was God, referring to Jesus, is co-creator of God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. Everybody say, Jesus is the co-creator of God the Father and God the, God the Holy Spirit. Itong, itong Word which, who was God, verse 14, nagkatawang tao. 
John chapter 1, verse 14, the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Ngayon, kapag tinanggap natin siya, anong mangyayari sa atin? John chapter 1, verse 12, Yet to all who receive Him, to those who believe in His name, in His name, He gave the right, the right, the right to become children of God. Hindi lahat ay merong right to be children of God. Yun lamang who believe and receive Jesus and believe His name. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng immigration paper na tayo citizens of heaven. At dahil doon, anong consequence doon? The precious, the, precious of, the precious gift of God more than any wealth in this world. 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 and verse 12. This is the testimony God has given us eternal life and this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life and he who does not have the Son of God does not have life. You may have your religion. You may have your traditional religion. You may have all kinds of religions in this world. Pag wala sa inyo ang butong na anak ng Diyos na si Jesus, you do not have eternal life. Kaya madalas kong sabihin, magmiembro man kayo sa lahat ng reliyon, sa impyerno pa rin ang punta natin. Sumapi man kayo sa Jesus is Lord Church na walang itinatas na reliyon kundi si Jesus, sa impyerno pa rin ang baksak natin. Bakit? Pag pinag-aralan niyo ang Biblia, walang reliyon na may kapangyariang magliktas. Ang mahalaga sa Diyos ay hindi reliyon kung hindi relasyon. Relasyon na makakamit natin kapag tinanggap natin si Jesus, bibigyan tayo ng ano? Right, right to become children of God. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Tumayo tayong lahat, sandali. Hallelujah. 1 John 1.9 If you confess your sins to Jesus, He is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all your unrighteousness. Abang tayo nakayukot, nakapikit, naalala kong bigla ang Romans 3.23 all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Lahat ng tao ay makasalanan. Ipinanganak tayo na minana natin ang kasalanan ni Adan at ni Eva, yung original sin. Kaya madali tayong magkasala kaysa gumawa ng mabuti. Sinful nature natin ang kasalanan. Kaya sabi ni Jesus, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John chapter 3 verse 3. Mababorn again lang tayo at mawawala yung kasalanan na yun kapag sinuko natin ang ating buhay kay Jesus at tinanggap natin siya bilang tagapagligtas dahil siya'y namatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo dahil sa kasalanan ng tao. It binubo ang dumalo niyang dugo na walang original sin sa cross of Calvary at yun ang naguhugas ng kasalanan ng tao. The only kind of blood in heaven as well as in earth that can blot out, that can erase, that can wipe out the sins of mankind. Hallelujah. At yun ang pinakamahalagang step na tayo ay malinis sa dugo ni Jesus. Lahat ay yung sandali at pumikit. Naramdaman ko pong presensya ng Diyos kangina pa. It's between you and God. Walang lilinga-linga. Kung kalaoban mo, buong puso na nais mong tanggapin si Jesus, hindi reliyon ang aking pinapatanggap sa inyo, kundi si Jesus. Yung namatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo, dahil sa ating kasalanan. Yung sinasabi ng John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, whosoever believeth on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Namatay si Jesus sa cross of Calvary, hindi niya tayo ikinahiya. Namatay siya sa isang kahiyahiyang kamatayan, tiniis niya ang lahat because God commended or demonstrated His love for you and me that when we were yet sinners, Christ Jesus died for us. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Abang tayo na kayo kot nakapikit. Bigyan lang natin ang kaligayahan si Jesus na nakatingin sa atin. Abang tayo na kayo kot nakapikit. Nais nice ba ninyong ihandog muli ang inyong buhay kay Jesus? Tanggapin siya bilang tunay na Panginoon, tagapagligtas at Diyos ng inyong buhay. Hindi reliyon ang aking pinapatanggap sa inyo. Inuulit ko, kundi si Jesus. Abantay na kayo kung nakapikit. Pwede bang kahit isang kamay lang, huwag ng dalawang kamay, isang kamay lang, it ask natin sa langit, symbolizing we are surrendering our life to Jesus. And follow me with a simple prayer. Maging kayong televiewers ng programang ito. And everybody follow me with a simple prayer. 
of receiving Jesus, surrendering our life to Jesus, everybody follow this prayer. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I believe. I believe you are the begotten Son of the Living God. You are the begotten Son of the Living God. Who became man. Who became man. And died on the cross of Calvary. And died on the cross of Calvary. Because of our sins. Because of our sins. You shed your holy blood. You shed your holy blood. For the remission of our sins. For the remission of our sins. You rose up from the dead. You rose up from the dead. For our justification. For our justification. Panginoong Jesus. Panginoong Jesus. Patawarin mo po ako. Patawarin mo po. Sa lahat-lahat ng kasalanan. Sa lahat-lahat ng kasalanan. Na mana at nagawa kong kasalanan. Na mana at nagawa kong kasalanan. Linisin mo po ako. Hugasan ng banal mong dugo na dumaloy sa krus ng kalbaryo. Pumasok ka sa aking puso. Bigyan mo ako ng bagong puso. A pure heart. A pure heart. Tinatanggap kitang tunay bilang tanging tagapagligtas. Dakilang manggagamot. Tanging Panginoon at Diyos ng aking buhay. Marami pong salamat. Ako iyong pinatawad. Ako iyong pinatawad. Binigyan ng kapatawaran. Binigyan ng kapatawaran. Kaligtasan. Kaligtasan. Buhay na walang hanggan. Buhay na walang hanggan. At binigyan ng karapatang maging anak ng Diyos. At binigyan ng karapatang maging anak ng Diyos. Marami pong salamat. Marami pong salamat. Dadako po tayo sa special pastoral prayer. Ano man ang inyong prayer request, be ready to receive God's answers. We will use the name that is above every name, the most wonderful, powerful name of Jesus. But before that, let us sing a song that will reinforce our faith. I will just close in prayer. Dakilang Dios, amang suma sa langit. Abutin mo po ang bawat lalaki at babae na may pangangailangan sa iyo. Ikaw lamang ang nakababatid o Diyos. Padaluhin mo sa kanila ang kapangyarihan ng iyong banal na Espiritu. Nagtataglay, Panginoon, ng Spirit of Salvation, not only for spiritual salvation, even for physical salvation, even for financial salvation. Lord God, in Jesus' name, only in the name that is above every name, in the sweetest, wonderful, powerful name of Jesus. Lord, padaluhin mo sa kanila ang heavenly blessings, solution sa kanilang problema, sa pamilya, sa isang minamahal, o ano man ang kanilang personal na problema sa kanilang profesyon, sa kanilang kabuhayan, sa kanilang trabaho, sa kanilang negosyo, I rebuke and cancel by the blood of Jesus the curse of poverty, the curse of financial bankruptcy. I rebuke such in Jesus' name and in the mighty name of Jesus, I lose unto them the spirit of financial victory. I lose unto them the spirit of financial success and victory in the name of Jesus. Only in the name of Jesus. Remove any obstacle, O oh God. Remove any obstacle for the outpouring of packages of blessings from heaven in Jesus' name upon your people. O oh, ang mga kabatang narito, Panginoon, may pangarap sila na magkaroon ng magandang kinabukasan. May pangarap silang makatapos sa pag-aaral. Tulungan mo sila. Tulungan mo ang kanilang mga magulang, kanilang mga guardians. Supply mo ang lahat ng kanilang pangailangan na makatapos sila sa kanilang kanilang pag-aaral. Lord, bless the parents. Bless the parents. Teach them how to breed their children accordingly na merong banal na takot sa iyo, Diyos. 
Basbasan mo po ang lahat ng pamilya na kinakatawan ng bawat lalaki at babaeng narito, Panginoon. Let there be an open heaven for them. Oh, release unto them, Lord, the fresh anointing power of the Holy Spirit. The anointing that destroys the works of the devil, the wiles of the devil. And release unto them, hallelujah, the multiplied blessings from your throne in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Even among the televiewers of this program, prove to them you are not limited by distance, space, and even time. As you heal the centurion's servant at a distance, heal, save, deliver, and bless the televiewers of this program, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You said whatever, whatsoever we desire, when we pray, believe that we receive. Believe that we receive. And we shall have them. Lord, we believe. Lord, we believe. Everybody say, Lord, I believe. I believe I receive. I believe I receive my blessings. I believe I receive my miracles. I believe I receive. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We praise you, Lord, and give back to you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Partner with us by sending your donations to Light TV Ministries Foundation Incorporated. Bank details: Bank of the Philippine Islands. Account name: Light TV Ministries Foundation Incorporated. Account number: zero zero four zero three one zero zero six four zero one. Swift code: B O P I P H M M Manila Philippines. China Banking Corporation. Account name, Light TV Ministries Foundation Incorporated. Account number, 1025-00001426. Swift code, CHBKPHMM, Manila, Philippines. Thank you for partnering with Light TV, God's channel of blessings.